Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 14th of a machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we are gonna cover polynomial regression. So till now, we have covered all the topics for our data preprocessing, like how to handle the missing data, how to do feature scaling and etc etc. So if you haven't watched that, please do that before because you really need to process your data be before you use any machine learning model. Okay, so we have also discussed two of our linear regression models, which were first simple linear regression and second multiple linear regression. So now let's see polynomial regression models. So we know that if the data follows a linear pattern, that is the dependent data is moving equally with her independent data, then we can simply draw a line and predict our future values. But what if the data that we are using is in somewhat this pattern? There you can see it is following a linear pattern, but it is having somewhat a curve here. And this is the type of data set in which we'll be using our polynomial regression model. Okay. So what we simply do is we'll draw a line like this. Actually not like this because this is not a perfect, uh, this is not the best fitting line. There you can see we have to increase the degree for our polynomial, which we'll be talking in our programming part that how we can adjust this uh, line so that it fits our data perfectly. Now let's see the formula involved in our uh, polynomial regression that you can see if you have watched our previous video then you must be familiar with these two formulas which is simple linear regression and multiple linear regression so this is not very different actually polynomial is also a linear regression as i have all as i've already told you there you can see that it is following a linear pattern only but is having somewhat a curve in between okay so there you can see this is the formula b0 is the constant and uh, b1 is the slope and x1 is our independent values and y is our dependent which is also called the output now if you want to understand these values more then then you can watch my first video on simple linear regression i'll provide the link in the i button as well as in the description so you can watch that video to understand that what is a best fitting line and how all these things are happening in very deeply okay so now we are done with the theoretical part and let's move to our jupyter notebook to see that how we can actually create a polynomial regression model okay Okay, so now we are into our Jupyter notebook. So let's first see that how our data is looking. Now, this is a very small data set having only two columns, which is first the level of the position. Now we will exclude this position column because the level signifies the numeric value for the position only like the business analyst is one junior consultant is 2 and same for all the positions CEO is 10 and the value is this much huge okay <laughs> so we'll use this data set and form our polynomial regression model so first of all let's import our required libraries which is numpy and pandas and also matplotlib because i'll be drawing the graph to show you that how the data set is going and how our best fitting line is going to perfectly uh, match them okay Okay, so now we have imported our libraries. Let's load our data set also. Okay, so now this is our data set. Let's create our x variable for our independent values and 
y variable for our dependent values. Okay, so I'm not gonna explain you what this i log dot values are and how we are loading our data set because I have already explained you in our pandas and numpy video. So I'll provide the link in the i button as well as in the description. So if you want to learn really how these uh, commands are, are happening, you can watch that video and let's continue <laughs> okay so let's create our y uh, variable which will store our dependent values or our output okay so now let's see how our beautiful x and y variable are looking this is x okay so it is having all the um, independent values and let's see why and it is having all the dependent values okay so now let's plot this data set on our um, on our matplotlib so that we can see that what is the pattern of our data this is a very important step because if you have a new data set and you want to see that what is the pattern of your data and what model you have to apply then you definitely need to see the uh, plotting of your data set so that you can understand it okay so let's plot our data set Okay, so there you can see this is our data set and we can clearly see that it is following a parabolic shape and we can use our polynomial regression model to satisfy this curve. Okay. Okay, so now let's import our polynomial features and linear regression model so that we can do our polynomial regression and as I have told you this is also a linear regression model so we'll be using linear regression package here and by the way we have we have also launched our merches so if you want to buy the cool I know Python t-shirt or mug or pins then you can see below that we are having merch of Teespring so you can buy from there to show the support okay <laughs> let's get back okay so now we have uh, imported our libraries for the creation of model now let's provide the degree for our polynomial uh, line here so we'll use polynomial features and we'll provide the parameter of degree as 2 by default also the value is defined as 2 but we'll just try with the two first and then we'll increase the value so that we can see how our line is changing its pattern okay now summing up these two commands here first have first of all we have created a class object of polynomial feature with the degree second and then we have transformed our x which is our independent variable to be a polynomial uh, curve here now let's execute this command so there we go and then we'll do the task which we have done in our simple linear regression regression simply draw a linear line but this time we'll be providing this x poly which is a polynomial curve line so that it can follow a polynomial curve now now this is a bit confusing so let me explain you again here we are doing the similar thing to simple linear regression but this time instead of 
a single line we are drawing a line with a curve and the difference is the data provided with the x and these two commands are changing the x to be in the polynomial curve okay so let me write the commands here okay so there we go our model has been trained with our uh, polynomial data now let's plot this uh, graph to see that whether our uh, best fitting line or this polynomial line is satisfying all the points or not visually and then we'll try to predict one of the values from our data set only to see that how accurate our model actually is okay so there you can see with the degree 2 we are having a curve line but it is not satisfying all the points now let us change the value of our degree and there you can see there is a change in the uh, pattern of our curve but still this is not perfect let's go with the 4 okay so now we can see that our model is trying to cover all the uh, points here and this is perfectly fitting our data set provided now let's try to predict a real value from our data set okay so we'll copy this command and we'll paste it here but instead of this we'll write some actual value so inside a tuple inside this we'll write our value let's say 10 which is the value for uh, which is the position for our CEO so let's see and pretty accurate pretty accurate because we don't want to overfit our model if we go for five or six values then uh, surely we'll receive a more accurate result for the data in our data set but if we try to predict any further value or any further point over here or here or here then surely our data set will not uh, our model will not be able to predict because we because we are doing overfitting so uh, this is it for this video this is what we require to create a polynomial regression model we have seen and we have also plotted it okay so this is it for this video and in the next video we'll come up with a new machine learning model okay so meet you there bye, -bye.